Hi, this is Vivekananda from Future in Hands and today I am going to show you how to reverse a list in Excel. So here I am having a list of 9 names. Now the task is to reverse the list and populate the list into this range. Okay. So let's first populate the order of the first one, the first list. Okay. So this is the order of the original data. Now we need to reverse the order. Okay. Now we end the list in such a way that 9 should come into the first one and first should go into the last one like this. Okay. So now the most important task in the entire challenge is we need to create this type of list or create this type of numbers. So let's see how to achieve this one. So I'll use this count A. Now count A, what is the purpose of count A? Count A basically counts the number of non-blank cells in a range. So I'll just log this one. Okay. So here we are having nine records. So we'll, I'll, I'll be getting nine in each of these cells because I've logged the cells. Okay. So next step is to just create a serial number in the decreasing order. So first let's create a number like this one. Okay. So now in the first stage we have written nine and in the second we have just created a serial number. Now let's see how to do this one equals to 9 minus this one. So I am getting 8. Okay. So 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. So I am getting the first number as 8. So to make it as 9, I will just add 1 to this one. Okay. Now, now in the entire process in this three steps, the second step I have did is the manual one. So I need to automate this one. So here I am going to populate the number. So the row function is one of the function that is being used to populate a row number or some series of numbers. So I am going to use like this equals to row and just I will write or select A1. So it will return the row number of A1 which will be 1. Similarly, if I am going to drag this one, it will populate the list like this row A2, row A3. So I will be getting this list. Now let us combine all these things. So equals to count A, I am using like this, I will fix the data, minus row of A1 plus 1. So I am getting like this 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. So I am getting the row number which is which was one of the most important part of this one. So to extract the data from a particular row, I will be using this index function. Index function will extract the data. So array is the original data. So this is my array. I will just fix the data and the row number. This is the row number that I have calculated right now. Column number because there is only one column. So I will write one. Bracket close. Done. Let us see what happens. Oh wow. So I have received or uh, I have just populated the list of all the names in the reverse order. Now I will del delete this one. So this was just uh, I have just written this one to make you understand the entire steps. Hope you like this tutorial. For more tutorial tips and tricks, please visit club.futureenhance.com. Thank you.